Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So today we're gonna talk about how to make a good guild defenses and how to test them. Also, the violent nerf is in effect, so we might as well see how it's gonna affect the guild content. Now let's take a look at the stat of my monster. This is my Molong. Basically, this lineup is very tanky. I wanna survive Bulldozer Com with this uh, lineup. That's why everybody is very tanky. Uh, for this one, it's less tanky because the idea is you wanna kill your opponent before they kill us, right? So there we go. There are three ways to test if your defense is good or not. The first one is, can it be Copper Bulldozer? The second one is, can it be Katarinat and Gyrost? And finally, can it be Bombed? Now we are going to start to test the lineup. It's one of them. Starting with the Copper Bulldozer. Because Copper Bulldozer is the main offense people use. Even at G3. Very OP. My Bulldozer is quite OP guys. My Copper, yeah, not that much. But I believe that this is a decent Copper Bulldozer. With a Leo lead, uh, my Copper can hit 60k. But for this one, probably not 60k. Keep in mind though, my Tower is not maxed. <laughs> Even from the Glory Point and the Guild War, it's not, ma it's not maxed. So you can see that there is a lot of room of improvement for the HP of any test. Also the HP for the Rakan. Because you know the thing about Rakan, he needs to survive the Bulldozer. This is after the Phylon nerf guys, and I think they're still going crazy. <laughs> see? I need to max the tower. Look at how close that is. We cannot have that, yeah? We need to make this... Uh... <laughs> Hello! It's, it's as if the Phylon nerf is never in effect. What the hell, guys? <laughs> no, I mean, they should have 12% all the time, but look at still how much they proc. <laughs> right here, this is the most important flag to max in my opinion. Also, one of these days, I need to max my glory towers, guys. But I'm so lazy to do arena. Okay, now let's see how the second defense is gonna deal with Copper Bulldozer. Of course, no amount of despair is going to outspeed any Messity on Swift. Even if you have Sierra lead, hell to the no. Okay, let's see. See, here's the thing though. Look, she just made my bulldozer not be able to one-shot anyone. I think the best idea here is to go for Juno. Cause if we go for the Tiomar, we're gonna glance anyway. Uh huh. We start working with Tiomar with... Uh, what's his name? The Copper. Like that. No stun, just that. Whoa! So beautiful! My Juno's OP! Oh wow. Okay, 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 okay. I can already see that we cannot also copper bulldozer this one. <laughs> I'm trying to get a scenario where Juno is 1v2 against copper and bulldozer. Uh, hopefully we can get it this time. Okay, so for this one, I'm gonna kill the Tiomar. So that we can get our solo. Like, we did not kill! Ay ay ay! <laughs> now we cannot see the solo from Juno. But anyway, let's try to stun. I God, Juno is OP. Okay, good. See, look at this. Look at how many turns Juno is gonna take before any of this Copper or Bulldozer is gonna take. Because they're very slow, guys. They remind me of the... of the story of a bunny who raises a cat, right? It was a bad time story. My mom used to... rape me. I think that's where I learned my English. And why my English end up like this, guys. <laughs> Moving on, we're gonna test the first lineup if it can be bombed. So this is Yara, you saw already. The Tiana. And the Malaka. Let's go. Bombing is a good arena offense. However, it comes down to whether or not you can land a thing. <laughs> Sometimes you, you just, for the life of you, not land a shit, guys. <laughs> See? Like that. And then now I have to waste my Sierra Bomb or someone else. Like that. And to think that my Malaka has accuracy. There we go. We stun everyone. Good. Every Nobody procs. So this is the best case scenario, I guess. With nobody procking. Ooh, the defense break though, but that's wrong. You don't defense break the Malaka. Why you? Why, 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 why? Did you guys see 18k? What the heck? So this is what a 40k retest can do. That's an insane damage, man. Yeah, maybe I should've bombed the retest there. I mean, I should've bombed him 
Hey, but then I would get reckless. <laughs> not cute. <laughs> Now the the Molong's not gonna use reckless because it's low. So I think that was correct, though. Yeah, now we get provoke. Either way, no, there's no way a Ciara is gonna solo a retest anyway. <laughs> Just look at that. And GG. <laughs> so maybe we can bomb that home, but it's just risky, guys. Let's try that again, shall we? I feel like we got really unlucky for the last time, so that doesn't really count, okay? <laughs> As you guys can see, this is the frustration we have to deal with when using the bomb com. What the hell? You know what guys, don't bomb anymore. It's 2020, forget about bombing, okay? Okay, at least this uh... I say better than last time. Wow! Yes, I don't like this. I would not use the bomb. Uh, this com to fight against retest uh, and molong com. Especially if they have burnout, it's gonna be worse, right? <laughs> it's gonna be worse than Rakan. Uh, let's kill Rakan here with the bombs, so that when he does his thing, he's gonna die. <laughs> nice. Now work on the retest. We're lucky that the retest is going for the <laughs> Tiana. But imagine if he goes for the Tiana, then it would have been a different story, guys. So it's possible to win, but very, very risky. <laughs> Pilot nerf my ass, guys. Now let's see how my second comp is gonna hold up against bombs. I think this one is more susceptible to bombs. I, you know, you're supposed to stun this one. Now you pay the price. Yeah, I feel like the reason Molong Com is very OP is that it has a lot of counter to the meta offenses, whereas this one not so much. However, I'm happy that this one can win against Cobra Bulldozer, but against Bomb, most likely not. Look at that. There's no way we're gonna win against Bomb with this Com. We go for the first kill, so that's not gonna let the Juno heal. And then, don't use the bomb. Oh, we die to the dots though. But that's okay, Malaka is uh, the MVP here. Malaka first kill is never gonna land debuffs. Juno is going to die eventually, right? Good. Let's just give turn to the Malaka. A few moments later. Yeah, this comp is not good against bomb. So already, this one is better than this one. Let's try that again, shall we? Ay, yay, yay, yay. Maybe we just got lucky for the last time, you never know, guys. Ooh. But I have to kill the Ciara, don't I? Oh, no, 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 no. We, we go for the job. Yeah, that's the thing about bomb comp. Seriously, guys. Your victory is determined whether or not you are lucky enough to land the bombs. <laughs> if you land the bomb, you're gonna have such a good time. If not, then this is what happens. It's not over yet, though. I can, I can still come back from this. Like we put the bomb here. We kill it. But then I'm being lucky too. The Tiomar is targeting my Tiana, which I don't give a fuck at all. Apparently. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so we're both unlucky in this match. It's fair. <laughs> I should just put you in storage, Ciara. You, you are going to collect dirt. You are going to clean up the poop that all my storage monster do. Especially Rock's poop is very smelly because he's female. What does that have to do with anything? <laughs> But damn, guys, Juno is really the MVP in this defense. My, 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 not bad. Well, if you are going to try like five times with the bomb and none of the result is going to result in victory, then you know your comp is going to be able to get bombed. Finally, the last test is the Gyros Katarina comp. Now this is where the power of will is gonna come into play. This is my Gyros. 
the one I use for arena offense. Yeah, not the best, but okay, I'll take that. That is my Katarina. This is the importance of having will on your monster. If not, then you're going to get reset. Then what's the point of having all this monster? Huh, guys? What's the freaking point? The thing about Immacity is that he does not give immediate turn to the Katarina. So what most likely will happen is that, yeah, either that we lost the thing, or we get collapsed by the Rock Hunt, and it's basically over. Even if you use Jemire instead of Gyros, then it's still very risky. And there we go. This comb is definitely not gonna be Katarina above. Like, I don't have to go for a second test, it's obviously gonna end up the same. Even if we get the Katarina, then what is Katarina going to kill? So thank you. Moving on. Uh, yeah. Okay, this time we, we uh, did not get stunned by the stupid Juno. Good, we get to reset the Tiomar. And the Sierra goes for Immacity because Immacity is water. That's actually part of the plan. Good. Now let's go for the Sierra. Because after the post balance, right? We can just pick our first target and then the rest. Like that. And is this GG? I think so. Will I use this comb against this? No. <laughs> it's risky. And whenever you make something risky with a certain comb, that's when you know that your defense is working. Now, nobody's gonna have the perfect guild comb. All we can do is just make the best perfect version of ourselves from a monster box. So, if you guess for me from my monster box, what would you use for my second defense? Which as we saw is less reliable than the first one. I think for now I'll just use that one. Because if I go Ciara, Tiana, and Gyros, it's just a speed, speed check, you know what I mean? If somebody's gonna fail against that comb, they're gonna cry to their mom, right? Mom, I cannot beat this comb, it's too fast. Can you like totally deal this for me? That was unsettling. And then from now on, that defense is gonna keep losing. So, I thought it's better to do this instead of Ciara, Tiana, and Gyros. Okay guys, that's all for the video. I hope this video is useful for you. And I'll catch you again on my next video. Bye!